सहनावतु सहनौ भुनक्त सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वी तमस्तु मिदिशा वह ओं शांति 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 हरि ओम वी वर स्टडिंग द ब्रह्म सूत्र एंड वी हैड स्टडीड दैट दिस अथा तो ब्रह्म जिज्ञासा इन दैट दिस वेदांत मीमांस शास्त्र से व्याचिक्या स्थित इदम आदिम सूत्र दिस फर्स्ट सूत्र इज बीन टोल्ड रिलेटेड टू द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ वेदांत वेदांत मीमांस मीन्स एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड शास्त्र मीन्स ट्रिएटाइज सो विथ विथ इंटेंशन ऑफ एक्सप्लेनिंग इट दिस फर्स्ट श्लोका हेज बीन टोल्ड दट इज वर्ड शंकराचार्य से then we saw that he says tatra ath shabda shabda anantaryarth parigrihyate there we have to take this ath shabda word ath in the sense of immediate succession and not in the sense of na adhikara arth hai not in the sense of commencement why because brahma jigyasaya anadhikariya vartvat because the desire athato brahma jigyasa uh, the uh, desire to know brahman is called brahma jigyasa so brahma jigyasa cannot begin in a point in time and also this is not to be considered as a worship or mangala charana because mangalasya cha vakya arte samanvaya abhavat that it does not make any syntactical connection or there is no logic in the sentence if we take it as mangala charana arthantara prayukta eva hi ath shabda hai श्रुतिया मंगल प्रयोजन एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू टेक इट इन सम अदर सेंस इवन दे जस्ट बै हियरिंग इट से श्रुतिया अथ वर्ड इज प्लेइंग द फंक्शन ऑफ ऑस्पिशियने सो दीज ऑल दीज थिंग्स वी हेव ऑलरेडी सीन पूर्व प्रकृत अपेक्षाया च फलत आनंतर्य अव्यतिरेका सो दट इज ऑलो Uh, not necessary because what has been already told in the purva prakrita apekshaya apeksha means with reference to what has been already told uh, the effect phalata anantarya avyatirya kat so that the effect of what has been already told is not different from immediate succession what has been already told already has been told mimamsa mimamsa means the injunctions of uh, sacrifices which are present in the vedas vedic injunctions so they have been already told so now we have to understand that this desire to know brahman is following in natural succession from the desire to know about vedic rituals athato dharma jigyasa that is how mimamsa sutra start so once you have understood the ritual portion now you are coming to the gnana portion but then one may ask a question we have not understood the ritual portion we never studied the ritual portion so the idea is this is in succession you need not study ritual portion you know you have faith that the ved vedic scriptures or vedic injunctions have been prescribed but now you are not studying it and that is why we understand by the adhyasa bhashya of shankaracharya that all these rituals are also based on superimposition so we are directly coming to the essence of everything that is brahman now we will go to the next part of the commentary on the first sutra sati cha anantarya arthatve yatha dharma jigyasa purva vrittam veda adhyayanam niyamena apekshate एवं ब्रह्म जिज्ञासा अभी यूर्ववृत्त निमेन अपेक्षते तद वक्तव्यम सो सती च अनंतर्य अर्थत्वे सती मीन्स लेट इट बी व्हाट शुड लेट इट बी लेट अस लेट अस टेक इट दैट 
this atha is used in the sense of immediate succession let us take it that atha has been used in the sense of immediate succession so anantarya arthatve atha word has been used in the sense of immediate succession but yatha dharma jigyasa purva vrittam veda adhyanam niyamena apekshate just like before knowing what is there in the vedas dharma jigyasa in terms of rituals to be performed before knowing or before the desire to know the various rituals prescribed in the vedas you should have studied the vedas purva vrittam before that veda adhyayanam the study of vedas niyamena apekshate necessarily is demanded apekshate so one is expected to study the vedas before one can have the desire to know about vedic rituals evam brahma jigyasa api yat purva vrittam niyamena apekshate tad vaktavyam similarly what is there which has to be done before having the desire to know brahman so to know vedic rituals before you have the desire to know vedic rituals you should have studied the vedas that is necessary if you are reading a book say you are reading a novel before you understand the climax of the novel you have to study the novel you have to go to the end of the novel before you understand the climax without reading the previous pages if you directly jump to the end you will not understand the meaning you will not be able to relate to the climax so you can relate to the climax of a story or a novel only when you have studied the novel from the beginning similarly if you want to understand vedic rituals you can understand them only when you have studied the vedas so the question is now we are not trying to know dharma now we are not trying to know vedic rituals what are we now trying to know we are now trying to know brahma we are now trying to know brahman brahma jigyasa in mimamsa it is dharma jigyasa here it is brahma jigyasa here we want to know brahman so the desire to know brahman so if to know vedic uh, dharma or vedic rituals you have to study the vedas what is it that you should do to know brahman that is the question so even before brahma jigyasa purva vrittam niyamena apekshate tad vaktavyam that is being told here so just like to understand dharma you have to first read the study the vedas similarly to understand brahman you have to do something what it is that is being talked of here swadhyay anantarya tu samanam however here one thing we have to understand is in dharma jigyasa also you have to study swadhyaya means you have to study veda or the portion of the vedas which is relevant to you you have to study vedas in dharma jigyasa also you have to study vedas in brahma jigyasa also so that is tu samanam swadhyaya anantaryam tu samanam so after succession after the study of vedas swadhyaya here means study of veda uh, study of vedas which is related to oneself which is relevant to oneself so swadhyaya anantaryam tu samanam swadhyaya anantaryam so here the succession after the study of vedas is common that means for dharma jigyasa also you have to study the vedas for brahma jigyasa also you have to study the vedas to understand the vedic rituals also you have to study the vedas and to understand uh, to know 
Vedic rituals also, you have to study Vedas and to know Brahman also, you have to study Vedas. So now as we are aware of the traditions in commentary or commentarial texts, that an objection is raised. The writer of the commentary here, Shankaracharya, or any other commentator, raises objection which might be raised by a person belonging to another school of thought. So it's called Purva Paksha. Pur Paksha means side. And Purva means somebody who is opponent. So opponent side is raised by the author of the commentator himself. So here the Purva Paksha is raised. Means the objection is raised. What? Nanu. Nanu means objection. No, it's not. Is it not like this, Nanu? Is it not like this? So, Nanu, wherever you will see this word, Nanu, that means this is an objection being posited or being presented, which is belonging to the school of thought of the opponent. So, here we are talking about Advaita Vedanta. Shankaracharya wrote this masterpiece of his commentary on Brahma Sutras to establish the school of Advaita Vedanta. So the Purva Paksha is somebody who does not believe in the unity of reality, means who does not believe that in the non-duality of reality. So that the person is somebody who believes in many realities or multiple realities. So that Purva Paksha says, Nanu, that means Nanu, Iha karva, karma avadbodha anantaryam visheshaha. So he says, is it not this meaning? What meaning? Iha. Iha means in this context. Karma avabodha anantaryam visheshaha. Should we not think when you are saying that it follows after dharma jigyasa? So, does it not make logic that it should follow after the bodha, avabodha, after the knowledge, understanding of karma, means Vedic rituals, anantaryam, immediate succession. So, visheshaha, here, this atha, does it not have a special meaning, vishesha, distinctive meaning, that it is in immediate succession, anantarya, after karva, karma avabodhana, avabodha, karma avabodha, karma avabodha means after the understanding or knowledge of Vedic rituals. So, is it not the special meaning here that this Brahma Jigyasa can come only after understanding Vedic rituals? This is the objection which is raised, objection which is raised for that. So this is the objection. Okay. So till now, till this we will see today. Uh, next we will see tomorrow. Then the objection is quashed by Shankaracharya. He is setting aside the objection. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat.